Notice, Notice of the, the regular, regular board meeting. The Gun Barrel, uh, uh, Gun Barrel Economic uh, Development uh, Corporation will meet in a regular board regular meeting. Board meeting. In the Gun Barrel City, Gun Barrel City Council City Chambers, located at 1716 West Main Street, Gun Barrel City, Texas, 75156, on Tuesday, August 8, 2017, at 5 p.m. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Would you please stand for the invocation? Thank you for this opportunity to meet today. Please help us to come together to make this business a reflection of the trust of our citizens and the City Council that have placed this upon us. Continue to bless our police and firefighters, along with those serving in the military that protect us every day. Breathe life into our ideas, decisions, and help us to build a team that has love and respect as part of our better, our bigger being. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within the work we have set in front of us today and every day. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call from my left. Osborne here. Ray here. Schiff here. Swingman here. Butler here. Whitten here. And we have a quorum. Quorum. So citizen presentation, limited to three minutes, this item provides the opportunity for citizens to address the EDC Board of Directors in any manner, whether it's on the, whether it's on the posted agenda or not. However, in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Section 551.041, the EDC Board of Directors cannot discuss, deliberate, or take action on matters not listed on the agenda. At this time, the Board will receive citizen comments and, if necessary, may refer the matter to the EDC staff for research resolution or referral to the EDC Board on a future agenda. I'd like to take a, a couple of minutes in the citizen's presentation. I have a couple of things I'd like to do. The first thing I'd like to do is to read a, pro a proclamation declaring from the EDC the, the uh, Economic Development Corporation uh, intern day, which is scheduled for Thursday, August 10th, 2017. And it reads, whereas the city of Gum Barrel where the City of Gum Barrel City Economic Development Corporation in the state of Texas has always supported the young people in our community, whereas the City of Gum Barrel City Economic Development Corporation in the state of Texas recognizes that the young people in our community are the future, and whereas the Gum Barrel City Economic Development Corporation in cooperation with the Maybank Independent School District and under the leadership of Holland Witten developed the second summer intern program to assist with the recreation and enhancement of the Economic Development Corporation website, coupled with further development of the Economic Development Corporation strategic plan. Whereas the city of the, whereas the Gun Barrel City Economic Corporation appreciates the efforts of our Economic Development Corporation interns, and they have exhibited during their summer months, we acknowledge them for all of their efforts. Now, therefore, I, Stephen Schiff, President of the Economic Development Corporation of Gum Barrel City, do hereby proclaim Thursday, August the 10th, 2017, Economic Development Corporation Intern Day and encourage the Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors along with the citizens of Gum Barrel to show their appreciation to our Economic Development Corporation interns for their time, effort, and willingness to work with the, for the betterment of our community. So we will have this pro proclamation posted in our office. And gentlemen, if you would step forward. Come on up front. I'd like to take the opportunity once again to present you both with a certificate of appreciation from the Economic Development uh, Corporation on behalf of all the work that you both have done during the course of this summer internship program. And I'll read, the, I'll read this to you and you can fill in your own name at the appropriate time. This is a certificate of appreciation presented to both of you for your work on enhancing the Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation website and insisting, uh, assisting in driving the Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation strategic plan. And this is going to be presented to you on behalf of uh, the Board of Directors and signed by me. 
I just want to take the opportunity to thank you for your time and your efforts during the course of this summer internship program. Alec? Zach? Thank you very much. Appreciate all the effort. And then, last but not least, I'm good. We'll get a picture of you all after this. Last but not not least, um, um, I'm going to present a special, special Gum Barrel City Gun Economic, Economic uh, Development Corporation, Corporation MVP Gun Appreciation Gun Award to Holland Witten for your dedication and hard work towards enhancing the Gum Barrel City Economic, Economic Development, Development Strategic Plan, Plan, the website, website and the dedication of time, of time to the second to annual the summer, summer intern, intern program. program. And Holland, I'd like to recognize you for all the effort. On behalf of the board, I have a certificate of appreciation for you as well. And on behalf of the board, thank you very much for everything you've done with the summer internship program. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to you, Holland, because I think you have a comment or two. Well, we have uh, we've spent the uh, the summer uh, upgrading our website, and uh, I just want to turn the floor over to Alec and Zach and uh, and, and let them walk you through it. Uh, I'd appreciate a little leeway. This is still the public, you know, public hearing part of the meeting, but it'll take slightly more than three minutes, but not much more. So, with that, if you guys don't mind, uh, you can go ahead and do your presentation. Wake here. Commence here. Live here. Shop here. Build here. Work here. Venture here. Relax here. Retire here. Hello, I'm Alec Terry. And I'm Zach Rose. This, uh, we are high school students, and this is our second summer to work on the EDC website. This summer goals were develop demographics to the support site selection teams and prospective businesses, create a comprehensive property listing section, refresh the home page and content to refrain, retain existing users and attract new ones, and add analytics to the site. The front page, or home page, makes a first impression and sets the tone for our site. The slides show and captions we read off are our new marketing message. The do it here messages are meant to be relatable to all our audiences, visitors, businesses, and residents, and to reinforce our something for everyone message. Along with the slider, we've streamlined the front page with small, simple icons, our mission statement, and social network links. It's clean and simple. It also looks nice on the mobile version of the website. Demographics was our top priority for development. We emphasize the lake site, the original view of the lake as a market and labor force. The demographic statistics are from the United States Census Bureau, updated in 2015. We pulled numbers from six from the six zip codes around the lake, approximately a 20 minute drive time. Traffic counts from the Texas Department of Transportation supports the Lakeplex concept with Dumbrell City as its center. Data on the business environment, labor force, and consumers rounded the lake flex picture. It also included population cluster analysis from Esri that adds more depth to the consumer picture. Additional demographic data is provided for Texas, the big picture, and Gumbrell City itself.
comprehensive property listings are important because they're a site selection qualifier, which means if you don't have good property listings, you'll get eliminated from the short list of cities being considered. We started with a list of EDC properties. Here's a listing for our street, uh, Church Street property, an acre and a half Greenfield with street frontage on two sides. We're working with the local real estate firms to add their properties to our list. They are cooperating with us. Along with a new look for the front page, we have updated the site to improve the look and ease of use. The EDC Administrative and Marketing Assistant, Ms. Yarborough, had developed the list of needed changes and reviewed our work. We appreciate all her help. Here's an example, our meetings page, that provides agendas, minutes, and videos the latest first order. It is designed to be user maintainable by Ms. Yarborough. We are also implementing Google Analytics to help analyze the effectiveness of our website. Google Analytics will provide statistics like total page views and unique users. That concludes our presentation. Thank you. So as you can see, there's been a lot of work done during the course of the summer. I would urge each of the board members to, is the page up live now? Uh, it's not, it will be after this week. Okay, so after this week, I urge all the board members to, to check it out and take a look at it. So thank you again for all the hard work and Alan, thank you for coordinating it. So on to item number one. Discuss or take action to approve the EDC min, uh, meeting minutes of July 11, 2017. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the EDC meeting minutes of July 11, 2017. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Voting from my left. Asborn, yes. Ray, yes. Schiff, yes. Butler, yes. Whitten, yes. yes. Item number two. number two, discuss or take action to receive an updated, updated report, report for the July 2017 financials. financials. Holland? Holland? Uh, well, first, well, first let me uh, take a motion first and then we'll get into discuss. Okay. I make a motion we uh, discuss or take action to receive an updated report from the July 2017 financials. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. second. Discussion. Holland? <laughs> well, our CPA's <laughs> office flooded, flooded recently, <laughs> so we can sympathize. <laughs> So because of that and some other circumstances, the July financials aren't available uh, this month. We'll have uh, July and August both next month. Uh, last year's auditor has elected not to perform audits for the EDC in the city next year. So we're working with the city to replace our auditor. And uh, I also wanted to mention an inquiry from a council member concerning Lakeland Medical. There was a 150k loan that was budgeted last year, or actually this fiscal year. Uh, it was issued. The loan was issued this fiscal year. And therefore, there's nothing in the next year's budget for Lakeland Medical. Right. Right. Yep. Yep. Noted. 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 And otherwise, there's uh, nothing unusual. Uh, as I said last month, we were about a quarter, or 75 percent through the year, and we'd spent about a quarter of our budget, so we're well under running. Any other discussion? Voting for my left. For my left. Asborn, yes. Ray, yes. Schiff, yes. Schiff, yes. Schiff, yes. Lindley, yes. Butler, yes. Whitten, yes. yes. Item number three, discuss or take action to approve uh, EDC conference room expenses for 12 new executive chairs and a glass top for the conference uh, table, not to exceed the amount of $3,000. Excuse me, Holland? Oh, wait a minute, let me get a motion first, sorry. I'd like to make a motion to approve EDC conference room expenses not to exceed $3,000. Motion. motion. Second. And a second. second. Go ahead, Holland. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, well, our existing chairs are, were uh, acquired in 1997. The chairs have a six-year depreciable life. So those have been in service 20 years. They've been, they could have been depreciated more than three times. Uh, so the new, new chairs would also help us with uh, completing our conference room upgrade, which has a noticeable effect uh, in marketing to, to our guests. So the other thing that we have in there is a glass top to protect the table and extend its life. So all that we can do for less than $3,000. Any other discussion? What are we going to do to keep this in stock? Donate. 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 
Any other discussion? 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 Voting for my left. My left. Osborne, yes. yes. Right, yes. yes. Schiff, yes. yes. Schiff, yes. yes. Butler, yes. yes. Whitten, yes. yes. Item number four, discuss or take action to receive a report on all commercial property listings for the EDC website. Can I get a motion, please? Make a motion to receive a report on the commercial property listings on the EDC website. Second. Motion and second. Holland? Holland? Uh, we have four properties that are, that are uh, marketable. Uh, we've excluded Big Chief. Uh, you saw our listings on the new website. Uh, and uh, we're in the process of getting comparables for pricing or market pricing. And uh, our objective is to either sell or use those properties as incentives uh, to attract new businesses and get some more good jobs in here. Any other discussion? 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 Voting for my left? My left. Last one, yes. Ray, yes. Schiff, yes. Lindland, yes. yes. Butler, yes. Whitten, yes. Item number five, discuss or take action to accept a proposal for all commercial property listings on the EDC website not to exceed $5,000 annually. Can I have a motion? Motion. Uh, I move we uh, uh, spend not to exceed $5,000 to maintain property listings on the uh, EDC website. Can I get a second? Second. 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 Holland, again? Again. Well, it is... Uh, uh, Zach mentioned during the, uh, the presentation there, property listings are needed to, uh, to help us with site selection. If there aren't those, it's a, a, a reason for a site selection team or a company to eliminate us from consideration. So we want to get com comprehensive listings of what's available in Gun Barrel City. Uh, we've looked into ways of doing that. Uh, there's an outfit called LoopNet and one called Excelligent, and we evaluated both their products, and they fall short in three ways. They're, they don't have a comprehensive list of all the available products. They're more expensive than we want to spend, and they still require a lot of maintenance. So what I'd like to propose is that we have part-time support of about 50 hours a month uh, to, uh, to maintain uh, property listings, and this includes not just the EDC properties, but also commercial properties. We've talked to uh, real estate agents in town, and they're willing to allow us to list their properties on our site. So it would be a one-stop one, uh, shop for looking for commercial property, right, right. which is there's, it's nowhere else. Uh, so... That's the proposal is 50 hours a month at $8 an hour would be about $4,800 a year. And included in that is some other website maintenance that could be done as well. So that's the idea. So all in, the, all in the attempt to attract people to the area who, so they can look at a site, decide on whether they want to build, whether the business they want to bring without having to go through any other realtor at that particular point while they're looking for um, – you know, for property. property. The, the, if you couple that with what was what done to the website with the upgraded, upgraded uh, uh, demographics that you're going to see, I think this is a, this is a, this is a two-prong approach that's really going to help start promoting our city, city in a much in a greater light, light than it's light been in the past in years. years. Who'd be doing this work? This work? Uh, our thought is to use uh, Alec Terry, one of our interns here. He could do it as a part-time job. He'll, he'll be a senior this year in school. Does this include MLS mis listings? It will. It will. Right. We we have MLS listings. Uh, I don't know if you still have that up. If you pull up that property page. No, no, no. Uh, you're misunderstanding the question. Does it? Do, oh, would it have the? Does, does this include our properties being listed on MLS? So here are the MLS listings. So the answer is yes. Right now, these are, you know, they come from a, uh, these, this is from one company, but this is the kind of information that would be out there for all the MLS lists. Right. So just to clarify, our EDC properties would be listed on the MLS. No. Actually, we're, we're going to a, uh, a real estate broker to list our products. 
So the answer is yes, they mm -hmm. would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're listening with the military. And who, and who is that? It's uh, uh, Robert Blase. Uh, Colwell Bank. Colwell Bank. Thank you. So that's where we're getting the comps and the, uh, the market pricing, which is what was lacking for our property. Don't we have to join the MLS or what documents do we need to give them to get on there? Because I didn't know that you could just put a thing in the MLS and you're... The real estate company puts it on we're, MLS. We don't yeah, have anything right. to do with that. Right. You, you're you're talking... Blase, he'll do that. You're, t you're talking about our properties uh, will be listed with, with Caldwell Banker. Bank. Right. right. At what at percentage what commission? commission? We haven't, well, I don't think we've gone that far yet. Well, then I think this proposal's premature if we don't know what it's going to cost. We know what the standard costs are on commercial property. There, there's not a cost for, for these. I mean, they've agreed to give us these listings and for us to put them on our website. So yeah, but that comes with a contract having listed the property with them. We haven't signed any contract. So we don't have to sign a contract listing with Blase in order to get on this service? To get on the MLS, you do. That's why I asked that's, the question. That's, that's what I'm just you have to have the property listed with a MLS. with a broker in order to put it on MLS. Okay, well, it, it sounds like there may be more discussion needed on this point. I thought we had already kind of decided that we were going to list these properties. So we have the, the big uh, 54 acres behind the park, eight acres uh, mid-city properties, the uh, 1.4 acres on Church Street, right, right, and Bronner Hall. Uh, which we're not going to list until, you know, after August. Right. But uh, but those are the four, and I thought we were in accord that we were going to list those. If not, we can table it. Any more discussion? Amended motion. Well, I think one of the th one of the th I think the five thousand annually is just for us to have somebody. If I'm. I'm getting this right is just to have somebody updating our website that's exactly right that has nothing to do with the MLS it's just no nope, just updating the properties that are available on the website I mean are we getting enough hits on our website to justify five thousand dollars a year in, in upgrading that's my question question well I think I think it's a I think it's a very good question. However, However yeah. we haven't really been marketing properties on our website for years. Yeah, and it's kind of a chicken egg, chicken egg question. Egg. Correct. Correct. That's exactly where I was going. Yeah. Google Analytics. We're going to put yep. analytics yep. on the website. Yeah. Any other discussion? Well, this is the first time I've heard that we were we were wanting to market the pro properties with a realtor. Uh, so I must have been out of town or something at a meeting, but I never, I never heard of this. This is what the uh, the uh, directors wanted to do. I'm, I'm with Rob. I think five thousand dollars for uh, for that amount of money to update our website with, with you know, in, in, in light of all of the recent recent sales of the commercial properties. Um, Well, I think I think you're misinterpreting. I, uh, we're all we're doing is marketing these on our website. You know, we haven't engaged any services through um, through a, a formal agreement with any realtor, and all we're doing is putting these and making them available on our website. That's the so part that we part, saw on the presentation. Part part of the issue is that we've always been talking about marketing and making sure that we have everything available so that when somebody hits our website, that they get a really good feel for exactly what's going on within our city and with the EDC. This is an enhanced tool that will help us to market these properties and maybe even bring new people in who have no idea that these properties are even available. So. 
you know, there's uh, uh, this is this is a discussion point that we're having to make sure that we're all in agreement that we agree number one to to go back to our strategic plan, which specifically calls out the fact that we need to enhance our marketing on both properties and and development of businesses and to make sure that we are hitting it at the focal point where people visit and that's our website and our website has really unfortunately not been up to par for the past little while but the, I think these are all these are all ways to enhance right you know it, it wasn't my intention to get out in front of the the board here so if we want to table this discuss it more decide how we're going to move forward that's fine by me nope any more discussion? Any more discussion? 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 Amended motion? motion? Rob? 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 You want a table? table? Or do we want to vote? I, I, I think I'd like to table it. I'd like to make a motion to uh, table the Second. commercial property listings of EDC website have, or properties. I have a motion to table. I have a second. 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 Discussion? Discussion. 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 Voting from my left. From my left. Osborne, yes. yes. Ray, yes. Ray, yes. I'll abstain. abstain. Slingling, yes. Slingling, yes. Butler, no. Butler, no. Abstain. abstain for what reason? What reason? Well, I, I, I'll change mine and make it a yes. 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 Win, yes. Win, yes. So we've got, we've got three. 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 Four, I think. Yeah, four yeses and one no. No. No, we got. Let me let me pull. Five. Let me let me pull again. Start over there. The mo the yes. motion is to table it, right? The motion right. is to table. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 I'm voting no. I'm voting yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. So a motion passes the table. Item number six. Just, just for clarification, I'd like it on the record. The reason I asked why you abstained is because we've run into this recently. An, abstain, an abstention without a reason is considered a I'm, no vote. Yes. yes. So it was a no vote. A no vote. No. Item number six. Number six. Uh, discuss or take action to approve the revised lease revised agreement with the city of uh, Gumbarrel City for the property located at 1720 West Main Street, Gumbarrel City, Texas, 75156, currently known as the EDC office and EDC conference room. In your packet is a lease agreement that I'd like to uh, – I'm sorry, can I get a motion first? Sorry. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to make a motion to approve the revised lease agreement between the city and the EDC for the EDC office. Second. I got a motion and a second. Just real quick, um, the only thing that's changed between the lease that we currently have where we were trading dollars is the amount on the monthly lease and the amount, uh, the amended amount would be listed and you'll see it on the, I believe it's the first page, page one. Yeah, that we would like to propose that the board accept and ultimately present to city council uh, $750 per month as our lease agreement uh, for, the, for the next year. And then we would have to uh, revisit it after one year because the, this uh, lease agreement is just for one year. How much are we paying them now? We're paying 1000 but it's offset with the use of the fire equipment over there so they're paying us a thousand so there's really really money that's being exchanged but not being accounted for so the fire department is opening opening what's the date of the fire department moving out so okay okay so eventually we're gonna have to we'll have to have a lease agreement because right now we have no lease agreement with the city it's actually, Keith, uh, there is an agreement, but it's a net zero. Right. Either way. That's what I, just I remembered that part. Either way. Part. Right. right. We just got to do something because we're not going to be able to charge the city a thousand anymore. Right. Right. Any other discussion? discussion? Voting for my left. For my left. Yes. Ray, yes. Ray, yes. Schiff, yes. Schiff, yes. yes. Butler, yes. Whitney, yes. Uh, item number seven discuss or take action to approve demolition plans for the properly formerly known as Bronner Hall. 1810 West Main Street in the amount not to exceed uh, $15,000 and to be executed by KK Maintenance Incorporated to improve marketability of said property. 
Um, um, can I get a motion? I make a motion to approve the demolition not to exceed $15,000 of what's formerly known as Bronner Hall. Can I get a second? Second. 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 Motion and second. second. Rob? 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 Any discussion? Uh, uh, no, other than the fact that I can't believe they're living up to <laughs> a three-year-old bid. But uh, well, I can tell you that it wasn't when I first got it. So we went back and negotiated a little bit. So this is a bit the original. We've already approved this, and this is on our books. But this is to be executed now. And so we had to get an updated bid. That's why it has to be reapproved by the board. But we have the money already allocated. The money is already in our books. Yes. Right. Any other discussion? No. Voting for my left. Osborne, yes. Ray, yes. Ray, yes. Ray, yes. Schiff, yes. Schiff, yes. Schiff, yes. Butler, yes. Whitney, yes. Item number eight. eight. Discuss or take action to approve an expenditure not to exceed $3,000 for the improvement and development of a nature bike trail through the EDC property that contains 54 acres located behind the Gun Barrel City Pavilion and Maintenance Building. <laughs> Can I get a motion? Um, um, go ahead, Rob. I make a motion that we approve an expenditure not to expend $3,000 for the improvement and development of a nature bike trail through EDC property that contains 54 acres located behind the GBC Pavilion and Maintenance Building. Second. 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 Discussion. Holland. Holland. Uh, in, in, in looking over these properties, I discovered this one is completely unused. It's wild. It's rough. Uh, so my thought was, with a small amount of tractor work, we can build a perimeter trail around it, make a hiking and biking trail out of it, and make one step toward clearing it. And some of that 3,000 would go also go towards signage and a rudimentary trailhead. So I think that would attract bikers and hikers to the area and uh, between residents and visitors. And I did estimate that it'd be at least equal to the impact of a skate park and uh, because there are many more hikers and bikers out there than there are skaters. Uh, over time, we could progressively clear more paths and gradually improve the track. And the big benefit too would be to expose the parcel to potential buyers out there. So right now it's just off the beaten path. I think it would also lend itself to having more people visit down there. Right. And feel more comfortable about visiting down there. Um, I think it would also enhance people wanting to use the pavilion area for other events and what have you. So, any other discussion? Yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely agree that a bike trail is a fantastic idea. I have a little problem, and it's going to be the elephant in the room. Um, the three thousand dollars is for signage and hauling a rudimentary trail head. Right, right. And Any idea what the state says about ADA compliance on a trailhead and a bike trail? Because I hate to tell you, but this is about to go from 3000 to 15000 in about two seconds. <laughs> You're right. I, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't. I'm only laughing. laughing. I'm only laughing. Laughing. Because we played this game it's before. Too, it's too yeah. true. Yeah. 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 No. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll bring it up. I'm, I mean, yeah. no, I haven't I seen haven't. a wheelchair going up and down our skate park yet either, but it costs us <laughs> six grand to do it. I'm, yeah. I'm 6,400. Uh, I'm, I'm laughing with you. So. I, I, I'd love to I'd see love a bike trail out there or, or, and a hiking trail. So a, a waiver I mean, a is not in the cards for that because it's a. You know, it's a, it's supposed to be for a mountain biking trail. You know, uh, yeah, but the skate park was trail. supposed to be for skateboarders. Right. right. Yeah. I hate to tell you, I think we need to probably table this. All right. All right. Well, well pending, 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 pending more investigation from an ADA compliancy standpoint. Yeah. And and bids. Bids. Yeah. 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 Okay. Once we get to ADA, we'll, we'll know what we're trying to bid for. All right. I yeah, I, 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 I think you're going to run into some situations where in other, in other cities that have bike trails, their trailheads are specifically designed to keep motorized vehicles off of them, you know, for all kinds of things. And, and while I agree 100% with 
with the idea. I think trying to get this done for three thousand dollars is not going to happen. Okay. Okay. Noted. Noted. You want to amend the motion? Or do you just want to table it? Pending further. I, 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 I think re researched it, so I, I couldn't I, I couldn't come up with a number. Right. Right. So I think we have to table. Okay. We got a yeah. question from the. Does somebody want it? Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> does it let, does it say in there that the ADA people have no common sense? Is there an asterisk for that or anything? No, just say no, Jim. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So, so, so I, I think the safest thing to do at this point, Holland, if you'll agree with me, is just to table it. And let's get some bids and find can I, out. Can I get a motion to table it? The problem is, is if we go ahead and do it in the $3,000 genre, my fear is that not only will we run into voices from asunder, but we will also run into liability problems. The ADA people. Okay, thank you. All right. So can I have a motion to table this thing? I make a motion to table item number eight concerning a bike trail. Second. Any further discussion? Voting for my left. Ray, yes. Schiff, yes. Slingerland, yes. Butler, yes. Whitten, yes. Item number, oh, we're going to, I'm sorry. The Gun Barrel City EDC will now hold at a closed executive session meeting pursuant to the provisions provided of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code in accordance with the authority contained in Texas Government Code 551074 to deliberate the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of the administrative marketing assistant. Item number nine will read deliberate the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of the uh, administrative marketing assistant. It's now 536. The Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation will now reconvene into regular session pursuant to the provisions of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code to take any action necessary regarding the items discussed in the executive session. Item number nine, deliberate the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of the uh, administrative marketing assistant. Can I get a motion to execute the item that was discussed in executive session? Are you done? Sir. I make a motion to proceed in proving what was discussed in the executive session. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? discussion. Voting for my left. My left. Born, yes. Ray, yes. yes. Schiff, yes. yes. Slingerland, yes. Witten, yes. yes. Motion passes. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, gentlemen.